so good to see you again, Sadie. But please, no sudden movements. This pelican isn't the stablest thing to stand on. I'd hate to shoot you accidentally. Branley, your service pistol. Remove it from your holster. Slowly. Yeah, yeah. Now toss it off the bridge. <laughs> good. I must say, Sadie, you play very hard to get. Bet that makes you angry. Oh, quite the opposite. Virgil, a little help here. Your chatter made you easy to track, but I think you and Virgil have talked quite enough. Take it off. Now smash it. Do you know what I've learned in all my years in politics? That you're an asshole? The value of escalation. For example, last time we met, Branley hit me with his fist. Keep talking. I might do it again. I think not. This time, I have a submachine gun. You see? Escalation. Goodbye, Branley. Do it, and you're a dead man. Sadie, you're such a bright, beautiful girl. You have no idea how much it pains me when you act so incredibly stupid. I have the gun. Yes, but I have the garbage truck. My troops! That city property, Virgil! What the devil do you think you're doing? Escalation. Oh, man, what a smell! Come on, this is our ride! Oh, no. No, 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 no. I am not getting in the back of a... Uh, olifant. Think of it as an armored personnel carrier. For the smell impaired.
Stay strong, Mombasa. Our noble militia is hitting back hard. The enemy has begun to retreat. Oh, I think I've got to puke. <laughs> Might make it smell better. Why do we have to ride back here again? It's the safest way to get to the Oni building. If we sit in the cab, we have targets. If we let Virgil drive us to the Oni building, the Covenant thinks we're just a harmless machine. Recycling. Do your part. Uh-oh. Company, get behind me. <sighs> Finally, something between me and all the shooting. Guess we all had the same bright idea, huh? Name's Tom O'Berdy. Damn glad to meet you. Married, right? You two own a house? Of course you do. Say, when this is all over, if you're in the market for new ceramic siding, hey now, I'm your man. Tom? Shut up. Virgil, can you raise Dad on this Oliphant's radio? Wow, buddy. Is she a tough customer or what? You have no idea. Sadie, you had me worried half today. I'm okay. What about you? The fighting is spreading, damaging all sorts of systems. Power, data, the entire superintendent infrastructure is close to collapse. I'm doing all I can, but... Dad, you've done an incredible job keeping Virgil together. Sidi, it's not me. It's the Covenant. bombardment collapsed one of Virgil's tertiary data centers. I was assessing the damage through the underground cameras, and I saw Covenant splicing cables, patching switches. What? The Covenant are helping us? Well, I'll be damned! Dad, I just met my first brutes. They didn't seem too helpful. No. The ones in the data center weren't brutes or any of the Covenant I've heard about. It's a whole new species city, and they're actually quite beautiful. They have some sort of automatic defense system, but as long as you don't get too close... You know, and I'm just thinking out loud here. Maybe this whole invasion is just one big misunderstanding, huh? Shut up, Tom! Virgil's observing another group of them now in Kawani subway station. Hang on a second. I'll connect the audio feed. Number one rule of sales. Understand exactly what the customer needs. Not what he wants, what he needs. You understand? Tom! 
Seriously. Zip it. It's dark in the station. Switching the camera to thermal. Strange. There aren't any brutes around. Usually they never leave them alone. All right. I see six of the new aliens floating in a circle. They are surrounding a seventh, touching it with their tentacles. Amazing. You wouldn't believe how fast they can move their limbs. They're working. Doing something to the explosives in the seventh alien's armor. <laughs> How bad? Not good. We're gonna get you out of here. We're almost there. <laughs> Put me down. Put me down for a sec. <laughs> Dutch, medkit. What's wrong with him? He's got a punctured lung. Can't breathe. <laughs> Better? Trains ran underground up to the old city. We're gonna find one of the tunnels. Walk on out of here. All right. You're gonna carry me all the way, sweetheart? I was planning on it, but now that you're feeling better. Get the door! This means we're screwed, right? Not yet. Wait here. We're gonna steal that ride. It's landing. Now's our chance, Mickey. You're with me. Gunny, I can fly a pelican, but a phantom? It's been years since I even ran a simulation. Well, let's see what you remember, Trooper. Move! <laughs> More contact! They're between us and that phantom. What do you think? Go! 
Go, Mickey, up the lift, kill the pilots. Here goes nothing. Cabin secure. Flight controls read green across the board. Well, purple. But she's good to go. I think. On my way! That's the way we're headed. Take him out. Gunny, I need a wingman. Find a banshee. I'll go first. Roger that. Follow your lead. Target down!
Coming. Another locked door. Hit the override. Covenant, gathering around the crater from that slip space rupture. I wonder what they're looking for. Yeah, but the captain would have known. Yeah, I bet you're right. Same as last time, Gunny. Jump out and get the switch. On foot, see if I can find a workaround inside the tunnel.
I'll take the turret. Troopers, I got bad news. Oh, what? You really are gonna make us walk out of this city? You got a scarab, right by our exit. This is the best mission ever. Keep her steady, Mickey. You doing okay? Just glad we didn't go with your first plan. Look at those tunnels. Ones that aren't flooded are probably packed with buggers. Hell, I wouldn't go down there even if you ordered me to. Come on, Veronica. What could be more important than that carrier? My orders. And Buck? Call me Captain. Mickey, turn around. Find a safe place to set us down. What? Why? I lost something. Now I know where to find her. 